Hello and welcome to the Ben Tablet Show, the first one in 2021. Happy New Year. I managed to get that streaming spot to the very first one in the new year. So I hope you all had a good start into this new year. Some say it can only get better. You never know. Hmm? Yeah, but let's hope we are in for a good new year. All right. So um, I got some challenges and I, first of all, I have to terminate. I keep, keep forgetting that the game here with Casper. Okay. So I have a couple of challenges. So who am I playing against? Is there anybody new? Krishnan? Yeah, Krishnan is a new opponent. So let's play. Does that look somewhat okay? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, the Dutch defense. Well, not yet, technically speaking. I haven't played d4, but it will very likely happen soon. And here we go. He played the, the Leningrad Dutch, which features g6 and uh, a5. a5 is not very common. Huh, okay. I guess just developing cannot be wrong. A5 can be sometimes useful for black. Maybe after d4, d5 by white, you have knight a6 to c5, things like that, but it feels very early. Okay, so he's trying to push my bishop away with the move g5, maybe. Sure. But that's also quite uh, weakening. Let's see if he really wants to play g5. Very likely he, he wants to do that because otherwise g6 doesn't really make much sense. So g5, I wanted to go to e3 and then put the bishop onto d4. Okay, so queen c2. There's a statement in the chat that says lag. I don't know. Is there anything lagging? What is the general opinion about the stream quality? Is there a lag? I cannot really tell. Okay. The main consensus seems to be there is no lag. Okay, sounds good. So yeah, the chessable sail, right? Yeah, there is a. I still have that picture here in the in the um, upper right hand corner. It's ending on January third. So if you want to get um, any of my chessable courses. Or other courses, I prefer, of course, if you go for mine, but uh, there are many more on sale. Um, that ends on January 3rd. Why did you sacrifice? When did I sacrifice? I didn't sacrifice anything. At least I wasn't aware of it. What I'm trying to do is to play e4. No, there was no sacrifice. I traded on g7, bishop for bishop. I want to play e4 and open up the the king side. Here the king on g6 looks very uh, exposed. Yeah, black is not really... Yeah, it's not so easy to see a good move now here because I'm opening up the position and it looks very dangerous for him. All my pieces are close to his king. Hmm. 
yeah, we'll see. Looks difficult to defend in my mind. Okay, now I can um, take on e4. And this was my intention, so let's do that. Yeah, question by Prom Knight. The last session wasn't so good. My rating uh, hasn't improved. That's true. I don't know. I never get anywhere with my rating here on Chess24. I also play on another side where I yesterday reached my all-time blitz high. And here I never get anywhere. Which is in part certainly um, due to the bantering, but still. Okay, um, this is tricky here. Rook takes e5, there's queen f6. That is not what you want. Yeah, not so easy. He's got some tempi somehow with queen f6 and so on. I have queen d3, but then he probably will just play king to g7, and then that did not really help. It's a bit strange. Black's position should be totally lost, but I don't quite see it. Yeah, also that this is possible is kind of a, is weird. So queen takes e5 for some reason doesn't work. Yeah, his king is on g6, but somehow he doesn't get mated. It makes no sense, but it is it is how it is. <laughs> I, I have no square for that bloody knight. Crazy. I shouldn't have gone to b5, that was silly. Maybe I'm winning on time. Yeah, both names are long and I cannot fit it on the screen. And his, my opponent's rating is 19, 20 something. He's of course playing much better than that. I mean, okay, the opening was strange, but after that, I don't think he played anything bad. So I'll try to trade queens so that I'm not getting checkmated. Uh, he's not... Um, it's not fast enough. We can just can hope to win on time, but it's not more. Or is that actually increment? Oh, this is friggin' increment! Oh shoot! I I didn't really recognize that, and I was thinking I win on time anyway. Oh my god, that is terrible. I didn't pay any attention because I thought I would win on time. Uh, okay. Now I'm a pawn down in this in this strange game. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he finally made a blunder so trading rooks is actually not that clear Let's see if I can win a second pawn now yeah, to make it a little bit easier can also go here check a5 is dropping. 
Yeah, and now he finally loses on time. I completely did not realize that it was um, an increment game. Okay, thanks for the game, Krishnan88. So, um, Marcus Fo, yeah, why not? Yeah, I have a, a show coming up also on Sunday. That is the final day of the Air Things Master. So this is how we set this up. That will be German language though. I do play Knight F3 quite frequently and sometimes I get the ready opening. Yes, a question in the chat. So Marcus here is getting um, a typical Benoni position, but he has played his knight quite a lot, knight c6 and so on. Queen c8 is odd. What is that move doing? Okay, let's go e5. That's uh, the standard breakthrough. Oh my, that that cannot work. I'm just going to trade queens here, right? Yeah, thanks for the question. How was the 30 the first? Uh, pretty quiet. I mean, I never really do much on that day anyway. I don't... Um, yeah, I don't like crowds and I don't like drunk people. So this is uh, kind of, <laughs> then you know what I think about uh, New Year's uh, or New Year's Eve celebrations. So for me, it, it didn't really, it was like the normal 31st, it was just a bit quieter. Uh, like outside, yeah, we didn't have uh, much fireworks. So there was a little bit less going on. Yeah, here I'm really just a piece up. It is, um, I mean, for two pawns, but that is currently not relevant. There's a, a request if I um, maybe could do a course, um, a chessable course um, on the on the Reti opening. Um, yeah, some lines that is uh, that that are featured and um, will be featured in the second part of my lifetime, Knight of Three C Four repertoire, um, are from the Reti. But I mean, the Reti opening is not um, an opening in itself; it's just part of an opening framework. So. It's not um, like an, an all-out solution for everything. It's just um, something that happens after knight f3, d5, c4. This is the ready, and so everything... What's going on here? I can take that. I could have taken g6, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's some somebody here in the chat saying that he spent uh, some time yesterday watching old videos of mine playing cheaters and playing against Olegas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't see knight takes g6. I mean, I'm up everything, and I don't really uh, calculate anymore. If I can win by simple means, I'm, I'm not going to think about knight takes g6. And he's a knight on a6, so I'm in effect, I'm three pieces up. Okay, thanks for the game, Markus. Watching me play Olegas must be strange. I mean, there's probably some weird entertainment value in that, but doing that uh, 
frequently <laughs> it's probably not good for your mental health like uh, it wasn't probably good for mine at the time so I think in our days I would probably approach those games differently. When I played uh, this person, I mean, you're, you're probably, many of you are not aware what, uh, what it's about. Um, I played a particular opponent very frequently on my YouTube channel, on my videos, um, back in the day. And um, it was, um, there were many games and this opponent, um, his uh, screen name was Olegas, is a Latvian I am, and he has got a very technical style, trading off everything. And then quite often actually um, trying to win on time in totally dead positions like rook against rook and so on and at the time that we're talking years ago i was mostly trying to just um yeah play correctly and kind of um i don't know play normal chess and i wouldn't do that simply nowadays i would just play complete troll bullshit because he's a really bad tactician and you just have to have to play something crazy which i didn't do at the time it was just not what i did and uh, I think I would score much better nowadays, just getting him into into wacky positions. It doesn't matter if it's correct or not. He's just a bad player in terms of dynamics. And I didn't really do it, do it all that much at the time. I was mostly trying to play my game, which is also more positional, but I should have um, played com complete wacky stuff. I would do that now. Yeah, here my opponent's problem is to move rook d8 or maybe castle in queen side even. He doesn't have a good square for his queen. It's a little bit awkward. So, yeah, this is interesting. If, if I go c4 here, what, what is he doing? Queen d2 or what's going on? I can I can also still do that. I mean, if he castles queenside, knight b3 check is going to... Yeah, I can win the queen, right? Is, uh, is there a huge compensation? I mean, no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to win the queen. It's totally fine that you ask about moves that were not played because uh, most of the time I simply overlook stuff and you're completely right. But it could be that there is a point and it's interesting to discuss. So keep keep asking. Who's hammering on New Year's Day on Earth? What? I have a weird hammering noise in my in my <laughs> one of my neighbors. Very weird. Yeah, I, I've I waited for a moment, or I hesitated for a moment to win the queen, uh, because as you see, it's not completely simple to win. Yeah? He's got quite reasonable activity, and um, yeah, like maybe there's a sacrifice on b5 or things like that. That is really possible. Okay. How do we do this? Maybe queen c6 activate the queen. My queen is not was not yet active, so I try to maybe play queen h1 and it would also be helpful to yeah, just invade with the queen and attack um all those weak pawns. Go here. 
No, I don't remember all of the lines that I recommend in my courses. Um, that, that's not possible, really. I'm, I think I'm fairly good with remembering the lines from the most recent course. And uh, currently, I'm, I'm still working on the second part of that C4 Knight A3 course. And I'm fairly good with those. Some of them I still forget. It's just too much. And it depends. Um, it depends. Um, on the on the lines sometimes I have spent really a lot of time to come to a certain conclusion like here you should play this and that and it took me hours to get there and in some cases it's fairly clear what you should play and in the cases where it took me hours I'm fairly good actually remembering that because it's just um, a longer process and you see that particular line all of the time and sometimes you just spend like five minutes just like okay this is a known line it's no this and that evaluation and then it's not as present in your mind so it's not possible i mean it would be possible for me to know all the lines but then i would have to really actively learn them in chessable and repeat them and so on that and i don't have the time it's always something new to work on So here I'm winning easily, yeah, the H pawn should do the trick. I could have gone to G2 immediately, actually. That would have been a bit faster. And now here the rook has no square to go to. Knight G1 is illegal, so I should simply win the rook. Okay, thanks for the game, my chess 2, 4, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Yeah, um, I think this line was not featured in one of my courses, I think. But I've had this on the board quite frequently. People play this weird London knight c3, bishop f4 combination. It's, it's one of those lines that are definitely playable and get played, but I mean, then they're not particularly dangerous. There's a question. Can you play the ready opening for one game? I'm playing it currently. This is technically a ready opening. You might not uh, think it is, but it is. <laughs> this is the ready. It just not doesn't have the classical ready move order. Okay. So maybe knight, so one idea is here knight e5 and f4. And I wondered about the move order. No, that's fine. The, okay. No, I don't think I have something better than f4. I was thinking maybe there's something better than f4, but I didn't see it. Now, this is interesting because both captures make some sense. I'm going to play like that. Are there any openings that used to be popular but disappeared after AI took over chess? Um, actually, not really. I don't think that the AI has... Um, had a, I mean, it has a, it had a profound influence on, on chess, but I don't think there's a particular line um, or opening that was refuted or so. I think um, one opening that maybe took a slight hit, but that was maybe already the case before uh, AI, is the Queen's Indian. All those d4, d5 lines. There was a very famous game, Alpha Zero, against Stockfish from twin, from the first match, when um, when Alpha Zero uh, demolished Stockfish in in fantastic were in a fantastic fashion, and I think this this really um, didn't help the Queen's Indian, but it wasn't a refutation.
there is no real quality difference between knight f3 and c4. The choice is mostly dependent on, 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 on personal preference. If you like to play c4, e5 or not, what's going on here? I'm going to take all the material here and yeah, and he resigns. Okay, thanks for the game, C-I-B-H. Yeah, what I was talking about with the Queen's Indian was, like this is the Queen's Indian, and that was a very famous uh, game in that, in that match when this d5 pawn sacrifice was played by by um, Alpha um, Alpha Zero, leading to a really fantastic game, and this was already interesting for White before. And these kind of ideas, I think, have gained um, more, um, yeah, have gained more ground or were appreciated more. And I think this this didn't help the Queen's Indian, but I don't think we're talking about a refutation or something like that. Um, for, for sure not, yeah. <laughs> and I don't think there's any opening that was refuted in, in a way. Okay, let's go e5. There was a question, when my new year car is arriving, I haven't ordered one. <laughs> I have not. I will probably get a new car in 2021 but i haven't ordered anything and i haven't decided which one to get so this um i will think about once my work on um, the current chestable course is done Aha, okay A beer baron suggests buy a new bike. <laughs> I don't have a bike. I cannot ride a bike even because of some problems with my... Oh my, what is the English word for that? There's a health condition. I cannot do it. I'm not sure what, what, what the English word is. So I cannot ride a bike, which is a shame. It's very useful, obviously, if you can do that for many, for many, um, yeah, short trips. It's a very, very much superior alternative to, to a car. Okay, so I'd like to attack the center. Hmm, I don't know. Yes, yeah, c five is odd, I know. My bishop on a seven looks like like a clown. But I think I can improve it, and I have a good square on e5. Okay, somebody says, it's nice to see me play. The only I am on chess 24 with a rating under 2700. Well, what was your New Year's resolution? Eh? Getting on my nerves or anything like that? <laughs> that's, that's really an odd comment. I mean, I don't really play all that much. If I want it, I can get to 3000 on that side. That's not really an issue. I just um, never play, just play the banter sessions. There are people on that side who have 3000 who are much worse than me. I don't quite know why I don't get anywhere here. I don't really know. Even with the, just the banter sessions, I should be higher, but I don't quite know. Okay. So let's grab C4. 
I do read all the chats. I, I cannot um, answer all of them. There's just there's too much going on. So, um, I have one to c4 pawn. I wonder if I should probably just get the bishop to d4. I will probably play more on chess 24 once the, the play zone update is activated. I'm not really in the loop. They've they've been working on that for quite a while, but it's not yet online. So let's see if I can mate him on H two. Not did not work. So I can I think easily sacrifice this exchange. I didn't spot the check, which is a bit of a shame, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, he loses on time, but I think it's also just winning. Uh, there's a check here on c7 or b7, but I can go to g6. And um, yeah, it looks it looks pretty pretty strong. Okay, thanks for the game. E D H three. Okay, now um, let's see the Alvaro Ajadres. Okay, let's get started. What's going on? It's not playing. Let's go c5. No, I don't have any ambitions to um, go for the GM title. I'm, I simply have no time to work on my own chess. I'm writing courses, doing videos, doing these shows and so on. And uh, I'm not really, I don't have any intention to spend time ch chasing that title that um, it's it's difficult to get anyway for me it's it's still fairly um, far away it's not like I don't know I need a single norm or just a couple of rating points I'm far away from the title so it's uh, something that I don't have uh, on the radar at all There's an interesting question if I sometimes miss my old nine to five job. Um, that is a good question. Um, the only thing that I that I miss is um, when when you when you work in an office environment in any uh, I never worked a home office, yeah, always uh, every day, yeah went to to that office building and so on you simply have some kind of um camaraderie right you, you meet the the people and um we we had a, a fairly i think a fairly nice team and uh, it was enjoyable to work in that in that team and uh, this is sometimes um missing when you are when you do freelance work like i do working from home that is a nice one. I win the queen. Um, of course, I have I work together with people like from 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 Chessable or other authors, things like that. But it's not the same as like having lunch together with a group, things like that. This has always been enjoyable and uh, is of course um, not happening anymore. And um, I, I think that also in general. Like home office work is um, is happening more and more nowadays, and should happen more. It doesn't make sense to to stick um, in the office every single day. That that makes no sense at all, in my mind. Um, 
but uh, it makes total sense to do something like three days at home and two days in the office, things like that. Maybe I think this will happen more and more. And um, it's not bad at all. Oops, screwing up the screen here. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, this is going to be difficult for black because I have some pressure here against the f7 pawn. Okay, if I take here, let's take here. Hmm. It's not easy to say what the strongest here is, actually. I can simply take, this is nice for white, but not a refutation of black's somewhat odd opening play. Uh, no, I don't do any other sports. I currently play the E3 line um, in the in the Reti. This is what is featured. What on earth? <laughs> that cannot be possible. G3 isn't that a trap? Um, I think um, G3 is not bad. Of course, they're in the Reti, but E3 is a good alternative, and that is what I'm analyzing for my course. Working two to 14, 12 to 14 hours. Nobody does that in Germany. Uh, that's wrong. I do. <laughs> okay. I think many people, uh, many maybe not, but uh, there are people who do that in particular if you, if you are, let's say, uh, yeah, if you are an entrepreneur, work for yourself, you sometimes have to do it. And of course, also many people um, in, in, in like regular jobs. I've been working for uh, 12 hours a day now for a month, actually. And I, I need a break, but uh, I have to finish stuff first. So here the position opens up and I'm a piece up. That is also pretty good. Okay, I saw that you can take it, but I don't think it's worrisome. Okay, bishop f4 maybe. Okay, now my knight is hanging. <laughs> I can simply move it away. I just wonder if I have something nicer, but I think this is, oh, it's totally fine. Uh, he castled kingside, hmm, okay. So, Let's have a look at h7. Attacking the h7 pawn. I think he will probably play uh, h6 or g6. h6. No, gives the check. I don't mind a queen trade. So, hmm, yeah. Okay, what I have to do is to not forget the time. To play a bit quicker. Everything is nicely protected though. Okay, shouldn't run to knight e1 check. Let's trade the knight. 
he doesn't want to. Okay. Oh. That's weird. He could have taken the knight. I mean, wouldn't have changed all that much, but... Yeah, and uh, Pawn is going to promote. Thanks for the game, Virus24. Okay, Alejandro Chess, also a new opponent. Let's play. And let's go. Yeah, we got some late later arrivals in the chat. Happy New Year, of course. I said that at the very beginning, but of course people join later. I'm not quite sure about the schedule today, if there's anything else going on before the, the uh, semi-final of the Air Things Masters continues. I'm not sure, I don't think there is, but the semi-final is going to be in about two hours. Yeah, H3 is a little annoying move. So the natural move, Bishop D7 fails to F4. Maybe it's going to play G5. Um, okay. He's just gifting me a pawn. He's gifting me lots of things. Um, is there a chance for YouTube videos is a question there. Um, YouTube videos on my channel. Um, yeah, that's very likely to happen, but I... I said that in the past and it never materialized, so I don't want to make any... I know I could have taken the rook, but I, the taking of the pawn is not bad either. It's an important pawn on e7. And the knight is pretty strong there. Um, it's, um, it's, it's very, very much possible that something is happening on YouTube with my channel. But if it does, you will notice, <laughs> like for real, not just like the odd video uh, here and there. Uh, there have been some ideas and... Uh, but I don't really want to elaborate. I mean, again, if some, something is happening there, you will notice. What's happening here with his queen? Eh? The queen doesn't have all that many squares. B7 or C8, so I'm going to run into a fork. Will the new play zone come this year? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, um, in any close talks here with Chess24 about that or have any information that you don't have. So, um, I, but, I mean, they've been working on that for quite a bit. So, as far as I know, so it, it should happen, I think. There's a question if I have a channel on Instagram. No, absolutely not. I, I maybe have some kind of dead account there from years ago, but I, I don't use that platform. I only use Twitter nowadays. So in that game, I'm just an exchange up for N3 pawns. It's quite a lot. My next chessable course after the English and Reti, that I can answer, that's going to be a black repertoire based on the Pilz defense. That will be um, 
a cooperation like two authors a friend of mine has been working on that already on and off for a while and um, once my English course is concluded I'm going to join that project it's going to be interesting the pills is an opening that I always um, found interesting I almost I, I almost never played it I, I mean maybe like four or five games or so over the years but I always found it was interesting because it's an opening that gives you um, like a full position with black like every single piece on the board and um, it doesn't have many like there's no exchange variation or something like that it's a fighting opening and um, I always felt that this is uh, interesting to study but I never never did and now with this project it's a good opportunity to do it so yeah I mean he's continuing here I'm <laughs> not quite sure if there's some hope for him ah, come on get a new queen yeah and now I'm winning on time so um, yeah there was a made in one yeah as usual oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm a queen now but I don't look for made in ones so uh, who is challenging me is there anything anybody new Umesh Dva Devidi that's a long name what I recommend against the pills um, I played h3 uh, bishop e3 and h3 is what I recommended in keep it simple e4 and um, I think it's a good line I mean you cannot refute um, the pills it's not a, not a terrible opening but <clears throat> there are certainly some lines that can put black under some pressure okay let's see what Omesh is doing here he's giving me a bishop no um, currently restaurants are not open in Germany I think they're closed uh, at least till mid-January my opponent's rating is 1600 the yeah I, I need uh, I need a new stream stream layout but I didn't have time to figure one out and uh, nobody helped me with it so There's a question if uh, I have plans to stream on Twitch. Um, I have streamed on Twitch in 2018 quite a bit. I'm, I, I'm a Twitch partner, so I, I did uh, all the things that you need to do to get Twitch partnership. Um, it's just impossible to do for me. I, I don't have time. I mean there are currently um, many full-time streamers and uh, they they do that full-time they don't do much else some of them at least and uh, or most of them they're definitely not um, working on on chess content in print form or or course form video form it takes a long time to write a really good opening course so let's grab this one I could have taken the knight yeah why well, didn't I take the knight I mean okay this wins very easily but 
it's um, a bit easier if you take the pieces that they blunder. <laughs> Just before anyone asks, I could have taken the knight. But uh, I tend to really not pay attention if I'm a piece up for nothing. And, uh, but you should. It's it's much easier to win yeah, if you grab more material. So do that, folks. Don't follow my example. There's a question. What are my thoughts on the Black Lion for an 1800 player? Um, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it depends. There are some... The Black Lion, probably people don't know what it is. Uh, it's a setup based on d6 and c6 against 1e4. I think that... Um, there are some lines where black keeps the king in the center. They shouldn't work, objectively speaking. Um, but um, they can be played certainly in blitz. And if you play without g5, yeah. If you play without g5, you have a filly door, which is solid but not exciting. I think it's a matter of taste. It's um, something that leads to fairly reasonable positions for almost no effort, which is not so bad, I mean, in itself. So, okay, I'm going to play one or two more games. So, yeah, that is true. There's a question about the the bird <laughs> opening and Sam Shankland said every opening with an animal name is bad. That is pretty much true. Bishop e6 is a bit odd. Probably not terrible, but it's odd. get to probably an IQP position here. Yeah, the dragon is... Um, that's a tough one. Is that an animal? Maybe. Fantasy animal. And the hippo is, of course, not a good opening. It depends. I mean, it's uh, what your standard is. By professional standards, it's, of course, completely terrible. But, well... I mean, you can play it. It's not not like you lose by force. Okay, um, I have some some good options here. Knight c5, maybe. Apparently the hippo is good against engines. Why would it be? I mean, you lose anyway if you play against the comp. It really doesn't matter what you do. Okay, um, let's see. That looks like the best piece. I mean, the bird opening is technically not an animal name opening because, uh, well, it's named after a person, a Henry Bird. So you could actually argue that it is not named after an animal, but no, tricky one. Okay, so here I'm a pawn up, and really that's it. <laughs> There's nothing much else to say here. And I have the, the really good knight there on d4. What I try is to get rid of that knight on e4. 
so it cannot jump to c3 and so on. That is a weakness in my position, the c3 square. And I'm currently threatening knight e6, bishop takes e4. Okay, so let's see, queen a, queen a1, let's get rid of his active queen, and now, so this is a technically winning position, but just how do I do it? I guess it's an idea to get the king to d2. Yeah, that is, a, I think, a technically good solution. Just run the king up and evict his rook. I'm nicely head on the clock, that is... Okay, I'm taking this. Not sure if this is the easiest way to play, but it's, it's very reliable because you know, I get the rook... Okay, trade it even. I could actually play that intermediate check. Why not? The king and pawn ending is completely lost. So get the second pawn. Now create a passer here. Thanks for the game. Dangerous ride. I'm not aware about the schedule today. I was planned to do a little bit more than an hour. Like an hour was the plan, but maybe nobody cares if I'm a little bit later. But you have to be observant here if you stream because the channels are sometimes needed for stuff like some testing or so on. Okay, a game here against the Yup. It's probably not the right uh, way to pronounce it. Yeah, from is there any from Spain? So get the bishop here. Yeah, the way I pronounce it is uh, for sure wrong. The way I pronounce it um, would be uh, rather this guy being from, I know, Essen Stelo or something like that and not from, from Spain. Okay. Um, Knight takes or pawn takes? Pawn takes, uh, it's not bad. Maybe he didn't consider it all that much because d5 is hanging. I'm attacking the knight and attack d5. So I had no fork on c7. He had a knight on a6. So check here. So this is nice. I'm a um, I'm a pawn up for for nothing basically, and I have the a file. So let's go here. How do we continue? Probably this way. And now get, uh, let me think about it. The best would be e4, e5, king e4, d5. Well, 
wait. Um, now let's do this first so that I can recapture with the G pawn. I can actually play d5 immediately. There's no need to prepare it. So this, he cannot take, bishop takes, then he's collapsing on f7. And now he's really collapsing on f7. Okay. Yeah, what is the easiest here? Rook b7, I guess. Will there be a World Cup this year? It's planned. I know it's planned. I think um, I read um, a tweet only yesterday by Emil Sotowski, the FIDE um, vice president. So how do we do this? I would like to go e5, actually. Yeah, I mean, there is more than one way here to, to win for sure. But this looks good, yeah? Bishop f7 being the threat. And now... I'm playing this too slowly, actually. Gotten a little bit nervous here with the time ticking down. It's very unnecessary, actually. Yeah, it's made. Yeah? Bishop c6 is checkmate, but okay. Thanks for the game. Yup. Okay, um, now, who else? Is there, this is new? Le Flaguer, uh, no, no way. Uh, French names, absolutely no chance <laughs> that I pronounce that. Yeah, I mean, th there's definitely a World Cup planned. I'm not completely certain about the location. I read it. I read the location, but I don't know what it was. Baku, something like that. But uh, please don't, uh, if this is wrong, I'm sorry. I, I really don't remember what it was, but it was um, fairly... was fairly concrete plans. It was not like, yeah, there might be a World Cup, we don't know what it is and so on. They had a location. Okay, so I have another position here playing against the IQP. There was a similar line earlier i think against a dangerous right was the opponent's name and just as in that other game this is a very comfortable position i have excellent control over d4 and it's not quite clear what black's counterplay is okay so just here why not it's a good square Yeah, I was thinking just before. Support the knight. There is no trickery with discoveries here, like knight d7 or so. It's, um, 
like almost working. <laughs> Now, knight b3, maybe him to trade queens. Who's going to win the world championship? Somebody asked that. Uh, yeah, I mean, no matter who qualifies, Magnus is the favorite anyway. Um, and um, I would never bet against him under really <laughs> uh, under no circumstance. Okay, ninety four. But, um, I mean, we don't even know who he's going to play. So, this is looking annoying. Eh? Bishop h5. Where's the queen going while still not dropping the bishop on f5? That's not easy to see. I think he's just losing material, right? Is there any... Great move here. Oh, wow. I can take here, though. And, uh, yeah, one I take, so well, this is good. Queen f6. Yeah. Yeah, Magnus is not in perfect shape at the moment. That's true. But he will still be a heavy favorite in any World Championship match. Thanks for the game, Le Flagger Fu. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Why was Queen F7 saving it? I didn't see it. Why? Can I not just trade then and grab F5? I'm winning the stuff, right? I thought. Ah, okay. That's true. So here I'm just winning like a pawn. Yeah, that, that's true. Absolutely right. Yeah. Okay, so one more game. I'm going to play one more game and then have to go back to get some work done. Dogu, that's a long name. Dogu Bal Yemets. Let's see what he's up to. Dogu. Dogu Bal Yemes. Okay, it's going B3 against the Sicilian. When after knight f3 on move 1 g6 in my course I just recommend c4 um, I'm currently working on part 2 of the English repertoire the c4 knight f3 repertoire now I can go e4 right this should win stuff the title says January 1st 2020 which title <laughs> Not sure. I, I haven't done anything and set up a title. So, okay, here I've gotten two minor pieces for Rook and a very nice knight on d4. Here we go. The title of the YouTube stream, that's fun. I didn't set the title up. I just used the. Um, I just used the one that was. 
um, pre preset, so to say. Um, okay, I can simply take. This is also a fun move. The rook cannot escape <laughs> on a one. I didn't ignore a question on purpose. I maybe have overlooked a question. That's possible. You know, I'm monitoring four chats. It's uh, sometimes a little bit much and I have to play a game. So here I'm a piece up in the ending and uh, I think should win without any particular problem. Yeah, it's four chats, just 24, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, all the platforms where the stream is, uh, is on. Okay, now, the way to win this is to get him in, in, in a Zugzwang. Now I'm attacking C4, and the king, yeah, at some point he had to move the king, and then I'm winning all the remaining pawns. Really, all of them. It's good to promote this check then. There is no danger of running into a stalemate. I don't know how many viewers are on Facebook. I have a chat view and a view with the, the viewer count. So this is mate next. All right, thanks for the game, Dogu Bal. Dogu Bal Yemes. Okay. Um, let me check. If there's somebody on who I've never played before, I'm going to play this game. If not, no, I've played everybody in the list. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to quit um, for today and I'll still be on in two days on Sunday at the same time, noon Central European time, then in German language. I hope you all had a good um, 2021 so far and it will only, um, yeah, it will not only, um, it will be a better year, let's say, than the last one and a good one for all of you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.